Not too bad, really, Bill. Uh, the weather has not helped us a great deal. Uh, been wet and a little bit too cool to suit Coach Jerry Claiborne for the most part. But there's been real fine hitting, and I think uh, spring practice is a tough time to get them to do that. And uh, been real good contact, and I think the team's come along pretty good. You have a tremendous punter, a sophomore. True, <laughs> Jack Simsack, a sophomore and he kicked extremely well in scrimmage last Saturday. As a matter of fact, he kicked so well, he kept both units in the hole offensively all day long, so it was kind of tough to score, but uh, he's a real fine punter. I think going to be a real great one. He's going to help us. Of course, Gene Fisher did the kicking in the previous years. Of course, he's gone now. Well, yes, this is the thing. We lost our whole kicking game. Scott Dawson did all the snapping, and Gene Fisher did all the punting for three years, and, of course, John Uton all the place kicking. So um, now maybe we have one man who can handle uh, both ends of the kicking game, and uh, we might uh, might not lose too much. You have a great many holes to fill. <laughs> this is true. Uh, last year's seniors probably were as fine a group of athletes as Tech has ever had. And, as you know, Frankie Laurie and Fisher and Barefoot, and uh, it does. It leaves an awful lot of holes to fill uh, when you look at it from an experience standpoint. So we'll probably be uh, fairly young in the fall, but. With the way Coach Claiborne's going after it, uh, I expect we'll have a pretty representative ball club. Well, actually, Steve, we were real proud of the way the players came back and won. Uh, it was a big victory for us. Uh, with all the foolishness that's going on all week long, why the players were under a lot of strain, the coaches were under a lot of strain, and they worked hard all week. They wanted to win, and I think that's the reason they did win. I think that they refused to uh, quit, refused to give up, and. You think of the many times that we gave up the ball and had interceptions and fumbled the ball. We, we actually gave up the ball five times in the ball game and uh, without a punt, uh, fumbles and interceptions. And several times we were in crucial situations and we could have scored or maybe, you know, gotten back in the ball game and yet they, they came back and won it and we were real proud of them. Coach, you moved the ball again. The offense didn't really get the ball across the goal line with much consistency. Your defense was extremely sharp and perhaps a bit surprising because you've had some injuries there, but you got 100% out of a lot of people, didn't you? Well, actually, our defense, uh, any way you look at it, had to win the ball game. Uh, of course, our offense, uh, we, we feel like we're a team and no one group wins a football game. But the defense did play an exceptionally good football game, especially in the second half when they limited uh, Charles to about 60 yards total offense and 15 on the ground. Uh, the defense got a safety. The defense also got a intercepted pass for a touchdown. And they also gave us field position with a great punt rush they had. So you'd have to say that uh, they gave the offense the opportunity to score. And uh, But there again, the offense did uh, take it in and score it, uh, one time, which uh, helped us win the football game. So we felt like it was a real fine team victory. Tech was extremely well prepared. You could tell that from watching. What about Buffalo, your opponent this weekend? Well, actually, Buffalo has been having the same type of season we've been having, Steve. They have most of their players back from last year. Uh, and was a, they were a fine football team last year. They finished up six and three, and was one of the strongest teams in the East. But this year, they've had some injuries. I understand that Bill Mansky, they're a real fine fullback who made all East last year, is going to be back for us. But uh, they've been having their problems with injuries and fumbles and interceptions, the same as we have. And uh, we're hoping that uh, they can have a few more of those until they, until they get through with us. I think that Lou Holtz has done a fine job down there with them. He did wasn't there at spring practice, but he's got some big, strong running backs. I think all of their running backs, fullbacks and tailbacks, are all over 200 pounds. Uh, Jimmy Laycock did a fantastic job last week against VMI, and with his passing, and with his passing complimenting their running, why they're going to be a, a real hard football team to defeat. And in regards to their defense, they have always kept the score close. And in the six games that they've played, they've won three and lost three, and in the three they lost, they could have won either one of them because of the closest of the score, because their defense has been such good overround sound football.